Indian grass is a species named Sorgastrum nutans. And that might seem to be kind of a long, complicated name, but to a botanist, it is a much better name than Indian grass. Indian grass is one species of many, many grass species that's native to South Carolina. It doesn't grow in wet places. It usually grows in grassy places that are open. It has to have full sun or it won't survive. A lot of times we see many of our native species on roadsides. And the reason for that is a lot of roadsides and rights of way really do approximate prairie-like conditions. And so you can drive on a number of different highways and see this stuff in bloom. The legislature deemed it the state grass in 2001. They were alluding to the presence of this really beautiful grass here in our state and the fact that it is of historical value as a part of our ecosystems. And in the herbarium, that is the collection where I used to work, we have it from, I'd say, at least half of the counties. For you know, a general person who's expecting to see beautiful plants growing in a field or something like that, it leaves a little bit to be wanted. And it's a common misconception, I guess, with herbaria. A lot of folks think when you say herbarium that they're going to go to a conservatory or a greenhouse and see lots of living greenery. But this is more of a, a plant cadaver. A particular specimen here is of our state grass. The thing that is kind of lost in the way this specimen is mounted on the sheet is what it would look like in the wild. This is a very tall grass. Sometimes it can be as, many, as much as six feet tall, taller than I am. Very dramatic when you encounter a large field of it. And, and it's the seeds, when, when they're mature, they kind of uh, gently blow in the breeze. And it gives this really interesting sort of ephemeral look to things. But on paper, it's all glued down because we don't want to lose any of those pieces. When you do find this stuff, it grows in clumps. It's a clump forming grass. It starts blooming late in the summer and by this time of year, early October, it's in full bloom and it's making its fruits. When you can find it, say driving out in the country and you see it growing on the roadside, if the light is just right, say if it's late afternoon sunshine, the plants just begin to glow. It 